Humans are really bad at discovering antibiotics on their own through chemistry. One thing that we can do is we can go look in nature for types of molecules, new types of molecules that will actually have the kinds of activities we want, and in this case it's the ability to kill other bacteria. So we actually do is we go isolate bacteria from the soil right here on campus and we get the bacteria from the soil, we characterize them, we figure out do they make antibiotics, we figure out what species they are, or at least what species they're related to, and from there we can kind of do a lot of different stuff uh, to learn more about the organism and why it makes antibiotics and what it does with the antibiotics that it makes. Working in the FRI lab, I uh, really found the whole process to be pretty independent, which was great because I could study and learn uh, topics that I found interesting. And uh, I didn't really find that in a lot of other classes that I've taken, so it's been very helpful. I think I kind of grew up working in the lab a little bit. It taught me to be uh, more independent, more uh, open-minded. Um, if I ever had any questions, I, I always felt uh, as if I could ask anyone for help and they would always help me. So definitely I think I learned to be more open. The research educator position is really unique here at UT. Uh, you don't see research educators at other schools. When I was starting to finish graduate school here at UT, uh, I knew that I wanted to teach, but I didn't want to stop doing research. And so one of the really cool things about this program and being a research educator is that you get to blend both of those worlds. You get to keep doing research. I get to actively go look for these molecules that we're trying to find. But I also get to teach the next generation of scientists and try to help them uh, get the same skills and get the same experience that I had and get them the same level.